Hello everyone, my name is Dave. Welcome to your next tutorial on how to build a microservice with Laravel Lumen. In this tutorial, we uh, are going to build a third-party client, which we have already done, that will consume our API using JavaScript. Alright, so since I've already created Lumen Test, I didn't want to create another folder for another project site. I just decided to create a HTML file inside the lumen test which is which i called signup.html you can call yours anything but then i just wanted to demonstrate that you could use laravel you could use javascript to access what we have in lumen blog which is our microservice by just calling the api properly all right so this is my sample html page as you can see uh, this is the header and then this is the body the body is empty and um, what we have here is a JavaScript code. And what this JavaScript code does is basically um, we just assign the URL, which is an endpoint, to a variable. And um, we are determined what the type is, variable request new. We are determined that the type is get. And then we are making a fetch request. This fetch request is available in JavaScript, and um, this is how it works. We're going to fetch, and then we're going to get a response in JSON, and then that response is a promise, so we're going to go further on, and then get the data. Alright, then from the data we get, we can now do anything with the data inside here. So what I've decided to do is to console.log people.name of course you can assign any variable here any of these things can be any variable you call and then I'm going to print it on the page but if there was any problem during this connection it's going to we're going to catch the problem and I'll put it alright so now we're good to go let us go and test on our browser we're going to have an error which we'll fix so this is sit on our browser and uh, remember that my warm server is running and um, our Lumen blog is running on its own server, so I have it running here. So the Lumen blog is running. I just started it and it's running. Look at it, Lumen blog. So I have our two servers running, and um, we are going to simply go here and refresh. We reload. So if a request was successful, we are going to see. A list of names of the people on our database but if it wasn't successful of course a blank page so if we right click and inspect element and hit on console hit on console here we'll see an error that was waiting for us and the error simply says that um, fetch API cannot load no access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource alright so it means once you have this error it means that you the client because um, lumen test is the client if the client doesn't have any problem it's the server that has a problem the server needs to allow uh, access control origin so we have to go to our lumen blog and uh, write some codes so when you have this issue you can simply go to github to look for some packages or libraries for allowing access control origin there are many of them so i have hit up hit github and type laravel cause and I've seen many of such packages. They are endless. As you can see, the list is endless. So you just basically choose any one that suits you. Um, let us try this other keyword and see whether we can see more of it. And uh, this keyword doesn't find any. But just use cause and you will see so many of them. And each of them has a good tutorial. Like this one, when you hit up on this one, um, you scroll down and see how to set it up. Installation, you're going to do this on your command line, and then you're going to enable this in your config app, and then you're going to do this, this, this inside your kernel, and then you can start using it in your routes.php or web.php file. Alright, so it's as simple as that. So the one I used. We simply went to um, in Laravel, Laravel blog. There was no console or command line or anything. We simply went to 
HTTP and uh, in the middleware we added something called cause middleware and um, that's a file we added this and then we went to the providers and added catch all options request provider we added this provider and then finally we went to bootstrap app.php and uh, we registered the catch all options provider i'm going to uncomment it so you basically type out this line and then we're also going to register the shorthand for the middleware i just called my own shorthand course so that we can use it in our web.php file or our route file so then finally we register the middleware itself the middleware is cause middleware so we register it cause middleware which is what we have here cause middleware so once you do these three things on your app.php file we are good to go as you can see um then we can start using it in in groups as a middleware you understand the way we're using auth we can just get it this way and say right here we're using calls save i've saved it so right here any request we're making to this from a javascript client um this will handle it and it will work properly so now we've added it remember we've not done anything else here on our javascript client application so we're going to head back to our app refresh and there we are it has printed the list of all the names on the database and also printed it on the console so that's how to make a request using javascript if you're using angular you just google how to do that too and um, you'll be able to connect to your microservice application from your mobile app most mobile app hybrids use javascript so you can just this this code exactly will work for your mobile app if you're using ionic or framework 7 or any of them which i've done the tutorials you can check in my in my channel to find tutorials for ionic framework 7 ratchet and other types of hybrid mobile application development platforms so thank you very much if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video tutorial